Good evening, and it's great to have you with us here on a Thursday night, and we begin tonight with yet another school shooting. Authorities revealing just moments ago that the shooter this time is a sixth grader, a female student who opened fire, they say, hitting two students and a custodian before they say a teacher was able to step in and get that gun. All of this playing out at a middle school in Rigby, Idaho. The call coming in after the school day started. Multiple agencies responding. The school put on lockdown. Students describing huddling in their classrooms in the dark. The doors locked. The students then evacuated to the nearby high school, waiting for their parents to come for them. And as we have seen all too often, the tearful reunions. Students describing the sound of gunshots and screams. Tonight, authorities saying just moments ago that all three who were shot have survived, and ABC's Kana Whitworth leads us off tonight with late reporting. Tonight, authorities say a sixth grade female student is in custody after opening fire in this Idaho middle school. Today we had the worst nightmare a, a school district could, um, could encounter. Just after 9 a.m. this morning, multiple agencies rushing to the scene. A sixth grade female student retrieved a handgun from her backpack she fired multiple rounds inside of the school and out. According to authorities, the suspect shooting three people inside Rigby Middle School, located less than 100 miles southwest of the famous Yellowstone National Park. Two students and a custodian sustaining non-life-threatening injuries. Lucy, a sixth grader, describing the terror. We heard a one gunshot, and then right after we heard another, and all my friends and I were freaking out, and we were hiding in the corner of our classroom with the lights off and the doors locked. The school's 1,500 students going under lockdown. Lucy saying that after about an hour, they were evacuated from their classroom in a single file line. There was caution tape blocking the hallways, and there were policemen blocking the hallways too. And when one of the guys moved, I think I saw a little bit of blood on the ground. And I was helping my friends. We were all crying, and we were so scared. The students then moved to a nearby high school, reuniting with their parents. The fear and relief etched on their faces as they embraced. No one is in danger at this time. And Kena Whitworth with us tonight. And Kena, I know authorities are crediting a hero, uh, a teacher who stepped in. What more have we learned on that front? And any word on what drove this sixth grader to do this? Well, David, authorities are saying that it was a female teacher that was able to disarm this student and hold her until help arrived. Now, all three gunshot victims were rushed to the hospital. The adult male was treated and released. The two juvenile victims remain there in fair condition. And David, as for a motive, authorities are saying their investigation has just begun. Kena Whipworth leading us off tonight. Kena, thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.